Yo, yo, what's going on? I'm gonna demonstrate uh, an ab technique on the decline ab bench that works pretty well for me and my clients. Uh, everybody's different on what works for their abs, but just know that working your abs should be about 5% of the equation of getting ripped abs. Because to bring your body fat level down is more about working your legs, your chest, your back, big muscle groups, and eating small meals often and personalizing your macros, how many carbs you're eating on certain days, and your rest and recovery, and your high intensity interval cardio for a minute, real intense, three or four times after weight training, and then maybe eating more carbs after that, and then maybe doing five or six hit cardio sessions the first thing in the morning, two or three days a week, and eating differently that day. So, but with that being said, it's always fun to work the abs, so here we go. This is a version, most people go too fast, most people go too fast and they do too many. Slow it down, feel it in the target area. So it's just a mild decline, it's a little bit below mild. I'm gonna do three different versions. Slow it down, take a big breath in. <sighs> Fight her down three, two, and one. Nice breath in, I like to bring my hands back here. Big breath in. <sighs> bring the hands here, stop right here, don't go all the way up. Put those elbows right on the thigh, chin's down on the chest, three seconds down, the chin's still on the chest, until halfway down, then start to bring the chin away and fight it down. Feel a nice, negative uh, ab uh, decline sit-up. Big breath in, <sighs> hold it, squeeze for a couple seconds, and then come down slow, halfway down, start to bring the chin away, hold nice and tight, think of a negative coming down. Nice breath in. I'm coming up, ah. two seconds, isometric squeeze right here. On this negative, visualize you're unrolling the spine, the lower vertebrae to the pad first, on up to the upper neck. Visualizing those vertebrae unrolling back down the spine optimizes the target, the feeling of the contraction on the negative coming down. All right, after that, that's the first third. Now on this third, now when you're pretty fatigued, let's try this. I don't even know what you call little pulses, so I start my hands here to the chest, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gives you a different kind of burn. You can always uh, think about getting unique techniques in the abs by doing different things. You can do stuff like this. Now, very simply, down here, I'm just gonna do a slow crunch, the last range of motion. Three, two, one, head comes up, swish the lower back flat, and down. Hopefully you can see my head. Big breath in, ah, two, one, and hold it, two, one. You can put the, my three micro reps in on any, on, at the end of any set, on the last two reps, here we go. And hold, and three, two, and one. Woo. So there you go. There's some ideas on how to get a unique contraction on an ab exercise. Like this or share it if you liked it. Let's talk it out. What kind of videos do you want from me? Because I'm gonna put out two or three a day. You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life. It's coming back, baby. It's coming back.